In 2020, we had ventured into one of London's most secret underground locations, Clapham South. The deep level shelters were opened in 1944 for Londoners seeking refuge during the Second World War and span over a mile of subterranean passageways. This time, we investigate Clapham North, a deep level shelter that has been neglected for many years. Hundreds of eyewitness reports from staff and guests who use the London subway claim to have seen ghosts in almost every part of the underground. There are many speculations as to why the London tube stations and deep level shelters are haunted, but as always, the paranormal will always remain one of life's biggest mysteries. Welcome to Clapham North Deep Level Shelter. Oh, I saw someone then. Down there? Yeah. Was there someone just down there? Footsteps. Yeah, footsteps, yeah. Oh, Rampod's gone off. Oh. Right, this is it. This is the entrance. We are about to go down 100 foot underground. We've got to hop that fence first. This is going to be really, really risky as well, especially with all the houses looking. But let's do this. Let's go. Well, oh, here we go again. You ready, man? I'm ready for this. You know, I'm so, you know what? I'm so excited for this because really the last one we did with all the lights on, it's got to be for me personally the expo of the year. Definitely, mate. This is something different. Exclusive stuff for this, mate. You don't see stuff like this on YouTube every day, man. I love how you just squeeze through that gap and just open the door. Oh, here we go. So, I can remember last time it took us a good couple of minutes to walk down here. I think this is about 100 foot below surface. You can see the old lift just through there as well. Now, let's keep going down. It's crazy how they, how they actually reinforce these. These are like steel, steel tubular things going round to support the walls. It's insane. Still going down. It takes a while to get down. Oh yeah, listen. Oh, it's so creepy, isn't it? That is creepy, isn't it? So what is one of the dark side is we're currently walking down these stairs, it's still going. But we have come to Clapham North. This one's abandoned. The last one we did, I think it was still kind of in use while they were trying to turn it into a museum, that's why the lights were on. Leave me a comment now if you've actually seen the video from that place. That place was amazing. Like I said, you know, it was the explore for me of the year. But we've come to this one, this one's derelict, completely abandoned. And I can only imagine this is like walking into some out of a horror film of some sort. We're still going down. Got a long way to go. Yeah, my legs are starting to go wobbly now. Whoa, dude, what are you doing? The old lift shaft there. Oh, so I don't know where the lift is. Oh my god. That's creepy. Listen to the trains, bro. Something creepy about listening to a train go by in these abandoned tunnels. So this is an actual replica of Clapham South, the one we actually visited. This one, I'm not too sure whether they were, they were originally built for trains or what, I'm not too sure. I will put the whole entire history into the intro. The reason I don't know anything of this place, because I like to come into places cold. So, you know, any, any paranormal does happen and, you know, it kind of ties in with the history. You know, we, we won't know anything until afterwards, until reading the history itself. So that's the reason we don't know any history on this place. This is definitely apocalyptic. Where should we go first? Huh? Yeah, which way? Can we get left, yeah, do a left. Let's go down to A. So during World War II, people used to come in here as a place of refuge to avoid, you know, being killed by the bombs during the Blitz. 
and I think this place is actually holding up to about three, three to four thousand people, I believe. And there's another train right there. That's right above us, man. That's area. Area. floor vibrating. Man, that is so creepy. So, I actually got told about this place, my friend visited here, and he said it was the most creepiest place he's ever been to, not just, you know, because of the place looks derelict and things like that, he actually heard voices. And I think when we went to the Clapham South, we heard a few sounds here and there, so I'm hopefully this place is going to deliver a lot more paranormal activity than the last place. But let's just get into it, let's go. Oh, man. Man, this is so creepy. That's the train. Goes down again, isn't it? Very short. Yeah, I think we're on the top level. Oh, I'm not feeling like it's warm down here. It's very warm. It's warm down here. Yeah. Can you imagine though? Obviously, you know, if we're feeling the warmth right now. Can you imagine three to four thousand people actually oh, in here? It's a bit horrible, man. I bet it's bad. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Mental. So guys, before we get into any kind of paranormal stuff, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, make sure the notification bell is on. Drop me a comment below, did you see the other video? I will actually link the other video into the description, so if you've not seen it, go check it out at the end of this video. But another thing, being down here as well, you can, you can hear the tube, you know, the actual train, the trains in the, uh, the tube and stuff like that. I'd love to go visit the old, old train stations. So try guys, get this, get this video to 2,000 likes. I'm going to try hit the train station, the abandoned train stations where, you know, countless of people have claimed it is so haunted. I've seen documentaries on it. And I've seen all sorts of crazy things on, on, on I think it's Aldwych Station, one of them. If you guys know any more information about the haunted train stations, please drop me a comment and tell me some more stories I want to know. But 2,000 likes, I'm gonna get us there. Let's go. Jesus, it sounds like it's gonna derail. Do you know what's pretty savage if you think about it, right? These 7 seven eleven bombings. Can you imagine being underground and the bombs going off? That's terrible, isn't it? Can you imagine that? Why say that when we're down here? Well, I'm just saying, it's a, you know, it's a possibility. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that. It's a scream. A scream. Did you hear that? Hello? Something like a scream that was really bizarre. Strange, isn't it? Oh, yeah, look at that. Did not want to fall in there, man. No, look at that, it's got a pump in it. Oh, yeah. That's bizarre, isn't it? It's probably dangerous. Mm. Oh, 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 my God. Jeez. It says flood there, doesn't it? Dragon is. Yeah, look. It's flooded. Oh yeah. oh yeah, let's have a look there. Is it deep? Yeah, it's pretty deep, bro. Oh, you got you, you can get, you can't see the side these though. These are the main parts, aren't they, these bits? Yeah. Man. And that is crazy. They were using it as a um, mushroom farm. Oh yeah, that was it, yeah. Yeah, mushroom farm. Oh yeah, look at this. It's like fiberglass. Fiberglass sheeting. Yeah. Dude, the whole place is vibrating. You know, they want to go sort that wheel out, mate. It's squeaking like mad. But yeah, apparently there was actually growing mushrooms in here. Not, not illegal mushrooms, obviously. Um, I think they were growing mushrooms in here because of the, the actual climate down there. It's, it's quite warm. Yeah, take a seat. Having a cotch in there. 
UK's most renowned bunkers. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Angel of Cla what? Clapham? Yeah, look at these. What? Baby, <laughs> baby shark. Oh my god, really? I can't get away with my tune. What is going on? I think it must be the echoes, isn't it? Hello! Echo! Wow, it's mad to think, you know, they dug this out and they put all these bolts in. This must have taken absolute ages. Definitely a few years. I mean, this is some crazy, crazy thing. Look at that, where the concrete's peeling. That feels like, like wood. It's not though, it's concrete. It's got tar in it as well. Probably to prevent it from rusting and corroding. Oh yeah, what's that? Oh, it's a reflector, isn't it? Yeah, Yeah, what the hell is this? Check this out. Evidence. Why is why is there an evidence sticker on there? That's random, isn't it? Mm. Evidence. Hmm. Just keep going. Oh yeah, this is back at the start. Oh, is it? Yeah. Do we want to go down or keep going straight? Did you hear that wrong? No. That might just be me. I thought I heard footsteps coming to the left side, mate. I freaked out. I was like, wait a minute. Insane. So basically, you would have seen all on the left side here is where all the bunk beds used to be going along. It's terrifying to think you can hear these trains right now. See, back in the day when people were actually taking refuge down here with the bombs going off, I bet this place was absolutely shaking. You know, the fear going through people's, you know, bodies of are they going to die? Are the loved ones going to be safe? When they go to the surface, are the houses going to be there? Have they got any belongings? Have they got a house to go to? Just, just things like that. It's absolutely insane. And, you know, you can't really comprehend, obviously, how terrifying that must have been. Oh, that's a little bite. Yeah. Bit random, isn't it? Give it a glance, man. Yeah. <laughs> Real weird. Yeah, it's like it's like it's blocked off, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Maybe we need to go the other way then. Yeah. What's that? Steve, this looks quite new, isn't it? Oh yeah, there's the stairs up 
punched don't go down, says. I thought you were there, I just a few footsteps. I thought I heard footsteps yeah. coming from there. Yeah. I thought it was just. Whoa, shh, shh, shh. That's the water. It's mad how many trains are actually like passing, you know, going over and stuff. Yeah. yeah, look. Oh, yeah. oh wow, this is just saying. I hope you find some stairs like the last one. Yeah, this is, this is pretty much an identical clone, isn't it? Almost. It's almost exactly the same, mate, yeah. Creepy, mate. Right, we're gonna go to the top. <laughs> We've just been taking some really cool pictures on here, on the stairs. You're not already following me on Instagram, following me on Darkness TV. Check out the pictures from this location. This place is awesome, you know, like I said, it's a clone version. Um, of the one we visited uh, earlier this year, but oh, yeah, this is really, really spooky up here. So I'm just trying to think whether this would have been an original entrance for people to run down, or maybe the one we actually went in. I'm not too sure. But wow, I feel short of breath there. Let's see what's at the top. Mate, this is. This is going further than the other one. Yeah. So in the last one, I think it must have been a block, like breeze blocked here. But this one keeps going. It seems to go around the bend up here. We'll see at the top. So my lens is actually steaming up. It's really, really hot up here. Oh yeah, look. Yeah. So that must go to the train line maybe. Who knows? Yeah. Oh, we just walked all the way to the top. Let's go to a brick wall. <laughs> if you the heat from here. It's hot. Really hot up here. Maybe sorry, struggling to breathe. Yeah, I'm struggling to breathe, man. Yeah. That sounds crazy, man. Uh, it's mad to like, listen to that. Yeah. Can you imagine that times? 30,000, 3,000. Unreal. Mate, it must have been just like chaos in there. Yeah, pure chaos. Just pure white noise from bad yeah, people. Yeah. So we're gonna go this way instead. What? What's going on with the bikes? Yo, bro, there's like more bikes down. Yo, is that the same bike? Is that the same bike? Mate, that looks like the same bike, mate. Oh, no, one's got, no one's got a tire. Oh, no, no, yeah, it's not. Yeah, brakes. mate. The other one didn't have brakes. I know you start freaking out thinking, wait a minute, it's someone else in this place with us. Let's just keep going. Come on, so. Oh, let's keep going. What? This looks super apocalyptic. What the hell? Man, that's creepy stuff right there. Seized yeah, but it's, it's condensated so bad. As if there's like still water on the top. So we're getting closer to the train line. Man, have you heard that? <laughs> so we reached the dead end, some stairs going down here.
I'll tell you what, my legs are sore now. It's doing so much walking in here. All these stairs and stuff. What the hell? This is like a really small part. You check, check this out. Bedford Road. What? That's weird, isn't it? What? Wow, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Do you like? I thought I saw someone then. What do you mean? Yeah. Where? What, down there? Yeah. What about towards the end? Yeah. Let's do some calling out. I want to stand in there, sir. What, you thought you'd seen someone standing? Oh, yeah. It's a mould in this part. There's like people over there. Do you like that band? Hmm. There's like someone standing there. Oh, yeah. shit, man. It's like a crazy little tunnel in there. What the hell, bro? That's like going down. It's going far down, mate. Oh, yeah, look at that. I want to know where that goes to. That's creepy, isn't it? Yeah. Ventilation, I'm guessing, look. Got slots in the uh, roof here, so maybe they're blowing fans. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it would have been the shaft's emergency exits, maybe. Yeah. That's madness, isn't it? Pinpoint that sound, whether it's coming from below to the side, yeah. from the roof. Alright, so I'm going to just move a little bit past this. And that said, she could have seen someone further down these tunnels. So I think we should do some stuff right here. Let's do some calling out. Was there someone just down there? Is that you, Jess? No. Someone just like, as if someone just clapped their hands. Okay. We've just seen you. It's got a headache, no pressure. Uh, yeah. pressure, yeah. yeah. Mm. When it's us, because we're below surface. Yeah, maybe. Be, yeah. Maybe, you know, lack of decent oxygen and stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. Keep calling out. Man, that's eerie. Listen to that. Footsteps. Yeah, footsteps there. Yeah. So, guys, we're just trying to wait for the trains to come over. Wait till the sign. Did you have like a bell then? Yeah, I heard that. We don't know if that was off the train or not. Obviously, we've got contamination with trains going ahead, but we're just waiting for it to go silent like it is now and just call out and see if we get anything. I swear I heard a man's voice coming from down there. Really? Do you know what I might do? I might bang a REM pod just further down. Yeah, good idea. Get a REM pod down. Maybe we do some like spirit box and just see. Yeah. Or, in fact, you know what I'm going to do actually? Because we heard, we just heard like a man's voice. I'm going to do an EVP session. Put a REM pod down just, just there or something. EVP open, see if we can get anything. Right, so I've got the REM pod. I'm just gonna go a bit further down here, turn the REM pod on, and see if we can get any activity going on. I'm gonna place it right here. Oh, REM pod's gone off. So the REM pod is actually going off. Oh, <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that you?
Can you walk towards us? We've put a device on the floor. You can go towards it. It just lets us know that you're here with us now. Mm, let's turn this torch off. Yeah, that's it. That's just saying, obviously, you know, the first time the rim pop went off, there was a bit of a train going up across, so, you know, it didn't, it went off, but now the train's just gone over and there's nothing. So we can rule out the train setting it off. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do straight up EVP now, whilst, whilst we've got a second before another train comes by. We need to try, you've never seen one of these before, basically. It's what is known as electronic voice phenomena. Spirits are said to speak in different frequencies that we can't usually hear. And it said that, you know, we can actually pick it up on dictaphones. So let's just run some tests, see what's going on. Who's here with us now? Can you say something to us? The REM pod. Stop this set. Rent pot again. Can you touch that device again? The one with the blue lights on. Nothing. I'm just gonna wait for this train to go past and just play this back. Who's here with us now? Can you say something to us? Did you hear? So if that is you, try and come close to us. Come and... Do you want to scream? Yeah. Scream. Come and... Come and... Come and... I'm just going to continue playing this. Yeah, so nothing, nothing on the EVP, but the, obviously the REM pod starts going off. Hmm, I wonder if we use the spirit box, see if we can build some up. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to walk a little bit closer to the REM pod, just see what's going on. Spirit box, let's see what's going on. Hello? You a male spirit? I'm gonna run, keep running it. Why are you still down here? Can you try and set this off? Can you try and come towards this device? And try set it off? It just lets us know that you're here with us. I don't know if it went off or not then. What was that, bro? It sounds like someone, I thought it sounded like someone like pushing a trolley along. A trolley, yeah. yeah.
Qu'est-ce que c'est, ça Roasting. Let's run this a little tiny bit more. This device in my hand, you can use it to talk to us. Are you still down here? Bro, that, that, yeah. that was like some going. <sighs> yeah, proper loud. Should we move? Down, should we start walking down towards yeah. there? Let's walk down towards there because you said you seen something now. So let's walk towards it. So we're coming down. Coming down towards you now. Let's grab the rim pad. Whereabouts did you see it now? Like on that bed, I thought it curves. Weird, how do you feel down here? Alright. Doesn't feel like scary or anything, does it? No. It's got a creepy vibe and stuff like that, but I just feel like it's a bit hard to breathe and stuff, but I think that's just because of the, the you know the mm. you know the environment we're actually in right now. So maybe this place has got potential. Yeah. Who knows? But I'm just trying to think why would people be down here if nobody died down here? But, but maybe it's just like a big event in their life that, you know, when they died or whatever, they just come back here. Who knows? Yeah. Let's just keep going down. Have we got like residual energy sort of thing? Well, I say residual energy. I mean, all in this right here was, was triple bunk beds, one after another, all, all the entire way to the bottom end. I mean, that's a lot of people confined into one space. Yeah, here. here now? Mm. Right, all right. What about... I just put my REM pod down here and... Yeah, I'm gonna put it down there. Right, so the REM pod's not gone off any further. We're gonna try neck for cap, see if we can boost this up a little bit. Because we are hearing stuff, there's definitely some on the EVP as well. So, let's just run the neck for, neck for cap and just see what's happening. It's funny to think right now, obviously, there's, there's thousands of people being transported above our heads and they don't have a clue. There's, there's like people down here do, looking for ghosts and stuff like that. <laughs> It's ridiculous. Right, I'm gonna run the neck front cap, see if we can get anything through here that can speak with us. That's a doc it's a doctor, isn't it? Doctor. What is it? there is a doctor down here? What was it? He's fleeing from the bombs. Got to get out. Got to get out. I say boy down. Here. So if you're here now, can you try and set the device off like you did a minute ago if that was you? The one with the blue lights on. Why are you down here? R Richard twice. Richard twice. So, so your name's Richard and you're just down here. Yeah, down. Can you tell us why you're down here? Cold. Cold. We said it was cold before, wasn't it? So is that you making it cold or are you cold? Deep, deep, deep under. Deep under. Yeah, deep underground. We think we saw you a minute ago. Was that you? Yes. Was that yes? What's your name? Who are you? Hurry. We've come, we've come here tonight to speak with you. We oh, that was an air raid siren. Did you hear that? Air raid siren, did you hear that? Whoop. What used to happen when the, when the sirens went off? Sound like sirens again, that whoa, white, like, like winding up. Down. Down. 
So when the sign's off, you, you, you came down here to do what? Air raid shelter. Air raid shelter. No, in way. Yeah, me too, bro. Air raid shelter. Man. So you said what you're doing down here. Yeah. Air raid shelter. Man, that is insane. Did any of your family die during the Blitz? Did you hear that? What the f? Do you know what I sound like? Like, you know what, the, 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 what they call the Stucker Divers? The Stucker Bombers? Yeah, when yeah, it comes yeah. down that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly the, what like, it was like the, um, the thing on the front of the, what they call the Jericho. <laughs> the Jericho horn on the front, the sound of it like that. Ooh. Man, that's freaky. You didn't hear it? Oh, that, that was insane, wasn't it? It literally sounded like a plane was diving to drop bombs. That is creepy right now. Right, I'm, I'm gonna keep running, running this a sec, because it's quite interesting. How many people are down here? It said three times saying all. At first it was like a man's age, and then a Yeah, that's it, yeah. You do realise the war's over. That, that we won the war. Run. You do know the war's over with? No. No. So you don't know that Hitler's died? He has. Good. He has. Good. He has. Good. So you can you can you can leave here and go back to your homes. You can get out the underground and go to the surface. Oh, just a massive ship, yeah, me too. What was that? Did you hear that? Yeah, footsteps, footsteps, yeah. What was that? Hello? Run this a little bit more. Where's the rest of your friends and family? All gone. All gone. All gone as in, did they leave here or were they all gone as they, they died? Burning them. Burning them. It's pretty much what they did though, they dropped like incendiary bombs. All the houses used to set on fire and stuff as well. Right? Yeah, that's it, yeah. I'm gonna turn this off. Right, okay, so I'm super surprised about that. I said about, you know, Hitler, the, you know, that he's died. He was like, yeah, good, or something like that. Um, just mad, mad little things. Sound like the, you know, German bombers dropping bombs. Just certain things, it's just, I don't know. I'm really, really surprised about Necrophonic Act, to be honest with you, right there. I'm super skeptical of the application anyway, you know, and I take it with a pinch of salt, but when stuff comes through like that, you know, it kind of, you know, it's really definitive for me to 100% believe in the application, but I just still find it hard. I need more answers. Drop me comments, guys. Do you believe in the Necrophonic app? Yeah, what the hell is all this? It's like cobwebs, like, but not candy floss, yeah. It is literally like candy floss. That is gross. Yo, look at that mini mushroom. Mm -hmm. I suppose you missed that, Jess. Oh my yeah, god, look. yeah, what? Look at mini, mini mushroom. Jess is obsessed with mushrooms. Check this out. See, that's just made the whole entire trip for Jess. <laughs> We've got another sign actually saying Clapham Road. Which one did we come in? <laughs> I don't even know which one we came in. 
Right, so we're just trying to find our way back. This place is amazing. I, I should have taken note what, what letter we came in on run C at the moment. Was it A? Was it A? No, I remember looking at the door when we first came in and I seen the key. Yeah. Maybe. It's that way. I think we need, I think to, we need to, to... Don't we need to stick to that bottom end corridor? And keep walking. I think it's this way. Oh, wait a minute. What's that down there? Oh, yeah, that way. Yeah, that's, that's that. But well, wait a minute, didn't we, didn't we have to come down those stairs, the main stairs? We were always taking the pictures before. No, that was a dead end. Mm -hmm. did we come to the level and we, we did, did a left or something, didn't we? Yeah, I can't remember. When we first came in, there was a packet of Starburst on the floor, so this is not the same. This isn't the same one, is it? We just look for the Starburst, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's way up, is it? Nah, because where's that going to take us to? It's going to take us to another way in, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to take us to a different entrance. Mm. Yeah. Might take us onto the main road. Yeah, where's Jess going? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Look at that mould. Yeah, look at the mould, it's just insane. Yeah. Looks like some insulation. Hmm, do we, do we chance it? There's no point, is there? I don't know, because in the last one, there was, there was two scared staircases, but they were like almost entwined, weren't they? And we both, we ended up at the exit when we went up the different staircase. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a long way up, though. So it is a long way up. I reckon we're just going to have to give it a go, man. Come on, now. Mm. All right, so if I've not got jelly of eggs now, or before, I have now, 100%. Top yet. It's mad, and it? it's like a metal casing going round. Oh. Come on, there's a long way down. I don't think it is, you know. No. It's a different area. More stairs. Do we chance it going up there? Exit. Exit. God. I'm going to be trapped in it for days. <laughs> Man, these stairs are wider. Yeah, they are. Look how big these how wide they are. That's crazy. What is that? Yeah, it's got a signal. Okay. Oh, yeah, look. Yeah. It's not booed. That's weird, man. So maybe this was going to be converted into a train. Train station. What is it? Push. And then push the exit. 
What's this way? It's just a door again. Is it? Alright, let's try it. Hopefully it's not wrong. It's locked. What? What do you reckon, man? Shall we? Is it going to end up onto the street or what? Oh, this is the one in the yard. Oh, is it? What is it? What's some ice? What's that? Can we get out of the yard, though? Is it? Oh, we made it. Oh my god, we made it. <laughs> We're lucky we took the chance, man. Yeah. Oh my god, alright. That's it. See you in a bit. There we have it. Well, yeah, you can see the ventilation shaft right there. This is obviously to let the, the airflow throughout the whole entire complex itself. You know, you just go straight down under there. No, this is this is mad, right? You've got all these houses built around it. And you no, know, probably not a lot of people know that this. Is right under our feet right now. Level two. Here he comes. Shit. Oh damn! <laughs> we made it, man. <laughs> well, you know. Right, so I'm just trying to figure this out, right? Because obviously we came down the tunnels all the way from down there, so I'm guessing we venture that way. <laughs> it curves around that way, doesn't it? So I'm guessing we go that way. Oh my god. <laughs> it's mad, do you know what I mean? We've just been on the ground and all this is above our heads right now. And nobody probably doesn't even know about this place properly. It's insane. So let's have a look where. Wow. Hold on a minute. Yeah, we need to go that way, man. Really? Oh my god, yeah, look at that. See the pin here. This is where we are, so yeah, I I've got it wrong. Oh, my God. oh no, maybe we're not getting it wrong. Maybe there is more tunnels that goes that way, right? Yeah, yeah. And we just need to go head that way. <laughs> I think it was pretty much slap bang in the middle of the place. So, yeah. man, this place is huge. Unreal, man. What the hell, man? So there you have it. Train station is right there. So basically, the entrances that we went to up the stairs, maybe one of these doorways inside the train station leads it's exactly to the bunkers, mate. Yeah, man. That's crazy. So leave me a comment right now. The tunnels were they originally built? for trains or were they shelters? I kind of think they were built for, you know, purposely for the tube station. Maybe it were kind of like abandoned projects or, you know, it was some expansions they were going to work on and they never did. I, I don't know. I'm not too sure. Drop me a comment right now. And uh, yeah, this, is, this has been a crazy adventure. But I'm kind of in two minds. Did I, did I enjoy that one better or did I enjoy the original Clapham South? better i don't know guys leave me a comment as well tell me which video you enjoyed the most yo that is santa's ghetto right there <laughs> i don't know about grow but man what the hell yo that, that is that's some crazy stuff right there yo what have you found lottery numbers winning ones yeah, oh argos oh, disappointing <laughs> that's mind-blowing so basically the entrance is literally right there we've come down the stairs all the way down come through the tunnels and literally gone in that direction that is insane but not to, not to forget as well the tunnel leads that way as well so this place is massive and the other side of the stairs it came from that direction again yeah it? it goes in like every direction every direction this right is, that's insane down. man <laughs> man i don't know about you guys but like my legs are absolutely shot at right now all them stairs jelly legs, jelly legs walking mileage mate it's been crazy so that's another mission completed i hope you've enjoyed this video it's not been super haunted the vibes down there were exactly, you know, super scary. It felt very relaxed and the guys said the same thing, that it, oh, you know, it was just a relaxed, chill vibe underground. Unusual, really, because you get, do get creeped out being in such places underground, you know, no one can hear you scream, literally. But either way, I hope you've enjoyed the video, but please smash the like button if you're new to the channel as well, hit the subscribe button, make sure the notification bell is on. That was a mouthful. Also check the links in the description, winter collection, support the channel, but yeah, we'll see you on the next adventure. Peace.